We begin 10 TV News at noon with breaking news. Tower, did that plane just go down? I don't know. I, I saw the light tower. Uh, we see smoke coming off the, the, uh, the field back here, off the mountain. That is air traffic control seconds after a plane flying from Columbus to southeast Ohio crashed right before landing. Now, the Columbus airport tells us the flight took off just before 7 o'clock this morning. The Ohio State Highway Patrol says at 7.15, the plane slammed into a car dealership parking lot in Marietta. That plane was supposed to land in Parkersburg, West Virginia. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Angela Ann. Tracy is off today. So here is what we know. The plane again left John Glenn at 640 this morning, crashing about 30 minutes later. We now know two people in that plane died. You are looking at videos shared on Facebook from Amber Davis, who was near the crash site. Also, 10 TV's Richard Solomon is right outside that car dealership where the plane crashed. Richard, what can you tell us this afternoon? Well, Angela, we are standing just feet away from where that plane crashed and troopers with the Ohio State Highway Patrol tell me you're looking at the tail end of that plane and you can see just the amount of damage that crash caused. Now, this is in the Pioneer Buick GMC dealership. Troopers say the plane did land on cars that were here to be repaired. Troopers tell me a 1974 Beechcraft model plane crashed just after seven this morning in this dealership. And throughout the morning, I've been speaking with several witnesses who work around the area. Some tell me they saw the plane hit the ground nose first and heard several explosions after. And we have learned from Marietta police the plane did leave from John Glenn International Airport in Columbus around 640 this morning. Now, Highway Patrol did say no one on the ground was hurt, but we're going to be here all day working to get more information for you on what happened here and we'll give you another live update tonight at 5 and 6. For now, reporting live in Marietta, I'm 10 TV's Richard Solomon. Angela. Richard, thank you. As protocol, the NTSB will lead this crash investigation. And the agency tweeted that it is looking into what caused that plane to go down. Again, we know it is a Beechcraft King Air E90 model. We found photos from different aviation websites. And to be clear, these are not the same plane, but you can get a sense of what that plane looks like. Up to eight people can fit inside, and the cabin length is about 12 feet long and four feet high. Now, as Richard said, he'll be there throughout the afternoon. You can look for his newest updates on 10TV and online at 10TV.com. You can also download our free 10TV 